day and what gorgeous weather for it. The Black Family Reunion back in town with events beginning this morning on Fountain Square. Yeah, already had a little bit of an event yesterday, but the real stuff starts today. WCPO 90s anchor Kristen Swilly has what we can expect this weekend. And really, Kristen, you're telling us why this is a must do for so many people who come here. Yeah, it's a big tradition for a lot of families at this point. And this year, for the first time ever, there will be a historic tour of Black Cincinnati. It's one of the Queen City's largest family-focused events, and this year's theme is bold and beautiful. So Cincinnati's Black Family Reunion, if you're unfamiliar, and it's in its 34th year, it's among the few gatherings of its kind left in the country and one of the most popular, with more than 10,000 from across the Midwest, expected to make their way here to the Tri-State this weekend. Things kicked off with a job there yesterday, and this weekend, will feature a parade like the one you see here from last year, a series of speakers and live music. The Black Family Reunion was founded by Dr. Dorothy Irene Height back in 1989 after she heard a journalist say the Black family was becoming extinct. Now the executive director explains it's an occasion for families of all kinds. What she shared with him is it may be a, a grandmother raising her grandchildren. You know, it may be two sisters raising their children together. My mom was a single mom of six, but we're still a family. The Black Family Reunion runs through Sunday at Sawyer Point and other sites across the city. Today's kickoff breakfast featuring Iris Rowley starts at 9 a.m. on Fountain Square. The Black Cincinnati History Tour takes off from that same site at 11 a.m. Adrian.